Okay, so if we're looking in our booklet and we've got this 10 is equal to 5x minus 5, we want to reproduce it in a visual way like we're seeing on our computers. We've drawn the 10 ones. We're showing that it's equal to the 5x's and we have a negative 5 over here, so that's why we drew our 5 negative balloons, right? When we're solving one-step equations, we always want to try to get the x's alone. And with these visuals, we're going to try to get it to the point where we can separate and figure out what goes in each x container, right? Over here, I have a negative 5. If, and I need to get a 0 here. So I'm going to have to do something where the 5x stays and the equal sign is still there and this negative 5 becomes a 0. How can I get a 0 with negative 5? I'm going to add 5. And because it's a scale, I have to add 5 to both sides. And just doing the math part of it, if I have a negative 5 and a positive 5, do those become a 0 when I put them together? They cancel each other out. They cancel each other out. That's going to leave, I can even write on here if you want, plus 0 to show that that's what that is. That leaves me with the 5x. That means these balloons are transferring to the other side, but they're no longer going to be balloons. When they go to the other side, they're changing form and they're going to become what? Five more blocks, right? So this is going to become 15. They get crossed off of here, and when they transfer over, they become blocks. So now there's 15 blocks, and there's still five x's over here to divide these 15 blocks into. So I'm going to take these three, and they're going to go in this one. And what's going to continue happening? Three in each of them. And how do we show that with our math? Because we can see it in the picture. I'm going to put three cubes in each of those x containers, and it's going to be equal. To show it with our math, we're going to divide. And that's really what I just did. I took this whole group of 15, and I divided it by <laughs> 5. How much was in each group of? Three. Uh, it was three groups of five. 5, right? Or no, 5 groups of 3. I said that backwards. So what happens math-wise, though, this 5 divided by 5 is an invisible 1. one. So we're going to say it equals x. 15 divided by 5 is 3. And that matches what we showed up here visually. Do you have to draw all this visual every time you do this? No. If it helps you, feel free. But let's go back over here to the actual equation and let's just do the math part of it. We want to get x by itself. And right now, 5x is minus 5. So what are we going to do with the minus 5? Because we want to get that to be a 0 on that side of the equal sign. When we do that, 10 plus 5 becomes 15, and 5x stays as it is because we haven't touched it yet. And then we're going to divide both sides by, if I do it to one side, I have to do it to the other side. 15 divided by 5 is 3, 5 divided by 5 is 1, and we leave it invisible, and that leaves us with our x. Okay.